year in, year out, you'll find a group of people come and ask the Shia that commemorate this. And every year you, you see the, the people that gather increase, the flags that are raised increase, the amount of people that come walking towards Abba Abdullah and Hussein increase. And they, they always ask the same question. And they ask, you know, this man died 1400 years ago. You know, why do you still mourn this person? Why do you still cry over this person? And these people obviously don't have an understanding of the tragedy of Karbala. They try to cocoon Imam al Hussein to merely a person that died. And just like anyone else that was martyred, you should cry over him for a few years, let's say, and then you know, cease to remember him. And this is a very dangerous mentality because in one way or in another, there's many attacks against Abu Abdullah al-Hussein. Many attacks. And this is only one of the ways in which they try to get into the minds of people to play. It's like, why are you remembering this person? He died? Yes, we understand that he died. Why do you still commemorate him in the way that you do? And every year it gets bigger and bigger and bigger and more followers and more love and more understanding. Because that blood that you sacrifice will be eternal, will be forever remembered. Rasulullah, on the tongue of Imam al-Baqir, he says, Rasulullah, one day, when he was sitting, he would gaze upon Abu Abdullah al Hussein and he would say, come towards me, O Hussein. And he sits him on his lap. And with everyone around him that were watching this, he says that for the lovers of Abu Abdullah, what will occur to him is there will be a fire in the hearts of the believers that will never be extinguished. The more we begin to analyze the amount of Imam al Hussein's sacrifice and patience and what he saw, what he went through, and everything that he has done was for the survival of Islam and for us as individuals to have this message, to follow the correct path. So these people that come forth and say it's just a person that died, no. That Imam al Hussein wasn't the person that died in Karbala. When we look at it in depth, we will begin to understand that it was Rasulullah that died. Imam al Hussein says, I am here to establish the religion of my grandfather, Rasulullah. Rasulullah would say, I am from Hussein, Hussein is from me. That understanding should tell us that everything that Rasulullah stood for, Hussein stood for as well.